back to Metric of the Month. This is Chris Yates from Northcraft Analytics. And today we are going to be talking about percentage of service requests received by self-service. And with the sheer number of service requests possible each and every day in a large IT department, it is no wonder that process improvement is a constant goal and struggle. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, however, and with the increased use of the self-service portal, many of our customers have shown vast improvement in performance and customer satisfaction. Many are doing this by ever expanding their self-service offerings, and these additions are based on real data. So with the help of Northcraft, they are able to determine which items are at the top of the list for adding to self-service. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the data itself and see what can be done. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and click Edit Report at the top left. And I am working in the Power BI Web Client today. Uh, didn't mean to pull this paint out. I will pull this paint out so I can read all my fields e easily. So now I'm going, now we can see our fields. I'm going to go ahead and click the plus sign down here at the bottom and create a new page to work with, a new report page. Uh, to start, let's go ahead and add our metric of the month. And that is percentage of service requests received by self-service. So as we can see, we have a few KPIs here and that's what we're looking for. Uh, we'll make this a KPI again, like I showed you earlier. Here it is. So I have percentage of service requests received by self-service. And in our KPIs, we need a value and a goal. And now before we add our trend, let's go ahead and change this uh, widget into a KPI widget. And we're not quite done yet. Now we need our tre trend, as I mentioned. And for the trend, let's go ahead and use open date down here at the bottom for our time frame. And we will use months.value to you know, average that out over each month. So that looks pretty similar to our previous KPI I had uh, on the opening page at 37.4%, and our goal is 20%, so we've exceeded that uh, by about 17%, if you can do math. So, all right, let's, let's keep moving forward. Uh, what we wanna do on this, I think my goal on this report is to go ahead and, and look at our total number of service requests, uh, then our number of service requests received by self-service, and then we'll look at uh, uh, our number of service requests and then average duration to close of service requests by different contact vectors or contact types um, in, 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 in relation to self-service as well. So this will give us an idea of what is self-service doing to our performance and, and is it affecting it at all? Is it benefiting us? Uh, what's going on? So. Let's move on from there. So a good next number to add would be something like a, a total. Let's go ahead and look at service request total. Uh, what I did just there is click my number card and using my metadata search, which is very handy in Power BI, I'm going to type total and here I've pulled up my service request total. And we're at 195,000 service requests total. Uh, another good, let me get these out of the way here. Uh, another good item to have on any report is some sort of date filter. Uh, it helps you narrow down the time for it, frames you want to look at on the fly uh, and adjust the data on the fly accordingly. So what I did there is added my filter widget. And again, we'll go back to open date here. I'm, I'm going to add date.value this time to show all dates. And here we have our slider. And it looks like we're at about just under, well, no, we're over about a year and a half. So um, let's give it a data. As you can see, 195,000 requests total. Uh, I think next step, let's go ahead and look at our total average or our average time uh, to close service requests over all time here within this data set. So I'll just type in average. And here we are, we've pulled it up already. I'll just go ahead and we won't do a KPI here. I'll just add a number card again, put that at the top and click average time to close service requests. So we're at 148 hours all time. Kind of high, not too bad though, considering this is demo data as well. So some numbers may be skewed. So let's get a little more, uh, let's get a little more visual now. Uh, what I'll do is add a bar and line chart. And like I mentioned earlier, I want to compare 
performance and, and let's, in terms of performance on this report, I'm, I'm going to look at average time to close. Uh, we can look into some other ones as well, but for time's sake, we'll stick with that. So I think what I want to do, let's go ahead and pull in total uh, service requests again. And I want to split those up by my contact type or, or the vector in which they were requested or reported. So uh, let's go ahead and find that. I believe that is under my summary information. Uh, yep, contact type right here. And yep, that's it. So we have email, phone, self-service, chat, walk-in. Awesome. Uh, and now let's let's go ahead and add a line for a line for a comparison here. And and I want to add back in if you could guess our average time to close a service request. So we'll pull that into my line value here. And there you are. We can see our average time to close um, service requests. And you know, we got a spike here above self-service and now, you know, that could be, you know, on average it is, it is higher. Uh, it's equal to email here, but let, let's, we'll look at some overall tr trends though. Um, you know, this doesn't take into account what type of service request it is. It's only the way it came in. So over time, these could be changing um, in terms of what is self-service, what the definition is, and what is allowed to be self-service, and how easy it is for a customer to uh, create self-service requests. Uh, and, you know, so these things change over time. So, you know, it might be good to look at that. And in fact, let's go ahead and do that. And just to show off what you can do on the fly and how quickly you can do it. I want to look at this over time. So I think what I will do is go ahead and get my total service requests uh, that are self-service over time. So I'm going to type in self again. And there we go. We have service requests received by self-service. And I will pull out contact type and service request total and add back in uh, total service, to, total requests received by self-service. And now I want to look at that by month. And as you can see, I still have my average time to close service request. So yeah, let's go back to open date again. And we'll use the month, that value as well uh, to split it up by month and trend it over time. And there you can see, uh, we, we have a bit of a trend here. So as our uh, self-service requests uh, go up, our uh, average time to close service request does go down overall. So, so there's a trend uh, that might be something to look into. It's something that we, we somewhat predicted in the opening of this video. Um, so yeah, so let's get a little more detail before we end the, we're before we end this, we're quickly running out of time uh, just to show you how you can get a little more information. Let's go ahead and look for, uh, let's look at our, for our service request ID. I'll just type in number should pull it up. Yep. There it is right there. I'll add it into my table. Uh, we can go ahead and look for, let's say date. Let's look at when this was requested. We'll do open time here. Add that in. Excuse, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, let's look at priority. I'll go ahead and search for that one too. Priority. Here we are under summary information. And let's look at, uh, Contact type again. Let's see if it was self-service or not. And then let's look at average duration or let's look at total duration. So I'll type that in. Uh, oh, business duration, that's an interesting one. That could work. All right, so we, we, we have that. We've got a little bit of a table here. Uh, we could keep adding fields to our hearts uh, content, but we are we are short on time. Let's go ahead and add something a little extra here. Let's add a nice little tree map. Um, again, let's look at our self-service request count. I will add that in. Oops, and let's look at that by something like a technical service. Let's you know look at um, related to some sort of CI or, or service or class. So first, let's add our service request received by self service. There we are. And let's see if we have technical service. This might be under CI. Yeah. Let's see if we have that related to, yep. Let's see transfer to. So we could do incident category. We could click that and see what that looks like. So we got some information there. Let's, um, maybe it's subcategory, not listed. Yeah, let's just try CI like we thought. Okay. 
So we have a lot of uh, uncategorized self-service requests here. So that's something to look into if you're uh, over this part of the uh, department. This is under your wing. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and just hide that. We'll exclude it just to, for this video's sake, see what we have. And so that opens some things up. So we have corporate portal, portal here, digital publishing. Uh, and, and on tree mats, I really, I really like to add some data labels. I like to see the numbers. That's a little more useful in, in my opinion. So we can go ahead and increase the uh, font size of those. And also I will change the display units. So I'll do none and we can see the actual number values and that looks great. So I hope you were able to learn something from this video today. Uh, if you do have any, any more questions, if you'd like to learn more, and even if you specifically just want to uh, watch how to build a service request report, I'm happy to help you out. Anybody here at Northcraft is. Uh, feel free to reach out through our website at northcraftanalytics.com or simply leave a comment below. We're happy to, happy to help. Uh, until the next video, hope you have a great day. Thanks.